Hi guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Neil here and today I'm pretty excited to be checking out the Kraken V1 pedal by Victory Amps. <laughs> Okay guys, so I didn't know what to expect when the guys from Victory UK sent me this pedal over. I'm a massive fan of the Kraken amp. When I unboxed this pedal, I kind of went a bit into how the Kraken feels to me and why I like it so much. There's a few pedals out in the Kraken range. There's this one here, which is the V1, which is the most affordable one. This is about 179 here in the UK. There is also a preamp pedal, which is just a preamp pedal, which you can record from. You can go straight into your Mac or you can go straight into an amp live if you want. And then, and that is the V4, sorry, and then there is a powered pedal where you can actually power a cab with it, which is the one that I really feel intrigued to, to, to get hold of if I possibly can. I really wanna check that one out. I'm really into powered pebble, pe pebbles. <laughs> I'm really into powered pedals to go straight into your cab. I just think it's the future of amps, in my opinion. Everyone's wanting smaller, little rigs now and I think that pedal it's been out probably two years now but it, it looks great and everybody who's used one says it sounds great too. I'm hoping to get that on the channel one day. I won't give up. I will keep trying to pursue that pedal and get it here on the channel but today we're just checking out this one here the V1. Now when I first plugged this thing in um, I was kind of expecting something different because it's a victory pedal and they are a bit different from your regular pedals. Most distortion pedals I've had on the channel have been in the what I call a fizzy zone. You know, they're quite fizzy, high gain, oversaturated, and even if you turn down the gain, you can't ever break the gain down, if you know what I mean. It never goes to an overdrive and then gets thicker and thicker. It's kind of fizzy all the way around the dial. This pedal is completely different. This is different from any other pedal that I've tried. It's a very organic very natural tone and it's the most amp like pedal that I have ever tried um, before on the channel. <laughs> Now I need to explain to you guys how the gain works on this thing. So as you turn the gain, you kind of go from the flavor of gain one on the Kraken amps to the flavor of gain two, the further around it goes. The controls on this pedal do a lot, okay? It's not the type of pedal where you can crank a control miles without it doing anything. Every little move on every dial makes quite a big difference, including the gain pot, especially the gain pot, actually. On this pedal, the gain breaks down to a smooth overdrive, a vintage kind of nice growling overdrive. And as you crank it up, you can even get the gain on full with this thing and it is still usable. It doesn't get too muddy, doesn't get too loose, doesn't sound like a mess. So that just shows how good the pedal is. I'm not sure I know of any other distortion pedal where you can actually get the gain up full without it turning into a complete fizzy mess. <laughs>
mid-range on this pedal is as you would expect okay now it does a lot the krakens have good mid-range they're very clear amps they have a lot of growl to them they've got a bit of old school voicing but they're using quite a lot of gain there to, to do modern metal if i had to describe this pedal i would say this is like going into an amp okay straight into the front of an amp if you are looking for a pedal that has that feel of going straight into the front of an amp then this is the closest thing that i've ever used that gives you that feel <laughs> I'm not sure what this pedal will be like with a boost in front, but the next demo and the next time you see me using this pedal, I will be putting a boost in front to see what it's like, see if it's worth doing. The Kraken amps absolutely love boost in front and they really shine for me as a metal player with a boost in front. And this pedal does have a very similar gain structure, obviously, to the Kraken. <laughs> It never becomes scooped, fizzy, mush. It's always got that bark and that um, mid-range growl that you'd expect from a pedal that says Kraken on. Right guys, so what do you think to that? For me personally, this pedal is the closest thing I've ever used that has an amp-like feel. Like I said, if, you, if you're if the type of guy that likes to go straight to the front of a high gain amp, this pedal is probably for you if you're trying to emulate that because that's what it feels like. It's really captured that glassy, um, spiky feel which you get with tube amps when you go straight into the front and I think Victor have done a really great job at 179 it's a pretty good price as well made here in the UK the build quality is absolutely awesome um, probably should point out the wedge shape it has to it there which I think is really cool that Victor have done it like that because sometimes when your foot switch is right up here and it's level with the controls it just it's all a bit in the way I really like the way they've angled it like that um, the input and output is on the top where it should be on pedals I always think that when it's on the side it becomes a bit of a pain and you can't get as many pedals on your board. But yeah, I have no qualms with this pedal. I absolutely love it, actually. And I can't wait to put a boost in front and see how that fares for you guys as well, which I will do in a couple of weeks' time when this demo settles down. Thanks very much for watching, guys. As always, let me know what you think. Use your ears, not mine. It doesn't matter what I say or what I think. I really want to know what you guys feel about this pedal. I'll see you all soon.